Hi, I'm Milton Rendell and welcome to Real News Friday. As expressed before, 2020 has started well and the statistics keep flowing in to support a, a great start to this year. Um, in terms of vacant properties on the, on the market, at the end of December of last year, there was 18% less properties on the market. So in other words, more properties have been less. The, the average days on market for letting has uh, decreased down to 39 days. So the average property at the moment is around 38, 39 days uh, before, it, and that's a worst case scenario, I suppose. Some people look at it that way. It will vary from suburb to suburb, don't get me wrong. You know, it's very hard to compare, say, uh, Claremont to Stratton. But it's all very, very, very good positive signs and will encourage investors to return to the market. Now, speaking about returning to the market, in the last two weeks, we've seen a huge increase in inquiry from first home buyers. Probably the highest levels that we've seen probably for about seven years. Um, and they're attending home opens more regularly and we've secured sales with first home buyers uh, in the last two weeks. Something we haven't seen a lot of, particularly in the last four years. So once again, an encouraging sign. Now that's a, because of stimuli from the state government and the federal government, but it is a positive sign going forward. So um, as expressed last week, we've seen a decrease in the number of properties on the markets. So we're down around that 12,500 mark. Um, the statistics so far for uh, January in West Australia, the volume of sales um, from one week to the next was up 11%, but you'd expect to be on an increase as people sort of return to work, etc. But all very, very encouraging signs for us going forward, something we haven't seen for a long time. And uh, West Australia is slowly getting back on the map. I see some recent statistics that our immigration numbers, in other words, people coming back to West Australia is on the increase, and one of the most uh, positive numbers we've seen for some time. So I think the combination of uh, potential employment and overall positiveness within the state, I think will start to flow through. And by the, I think at the end of the, the March quarter, we'll certainly see some statistics which will reflect in an improving real estate market in West Australia. In the meantime, if you want to know more, go to realestateplus.com.au.